the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, I, cut, I found the scripture I wanted to show you. I, I added out the part where I was looking for it so I can put it in this segment right here for you guys to take a look at. It was, because uh, somebody was sitting there saying is when they use racism, they use the Bible to, to justify racism. And one of the ones they were using was talking about the, uh, the curse of Ham, right? I mean, come on, give me a break. Where was Ham cursed? So let's go read that section for ourselves, right? So we can see it. Check it out. All right. I don't want you to sit there and be ignorant. And we'll cover it again sometimes other people. But you know, somebody, everybody, whoever reads this is going to read it, but there's going to be some people who are still say it. But at least for you, you can go back and talk to them about it. Amen? So what I have here is Genesis 9. It's in Genesis 9. Genesis 9. And it's, it starts in verse 18. And you tell me where Ham which apparently is supposed to be the representative of the, the dark race, right? I mean, all the children must came from Ham. And we'll, I don't get into it because the fact is that was, I don't know that these, they didn't describe these people. They're saying these names are descriptions to say that what these people color are supposed to be. So you take it whatever you want with that. You run with it, amen? All right, <laughs> it says right here, in verse uh, 18, and the sons of Noah that went forth of the ark were Shem and Ham and Jepheth. And Ham is the father of Cana. Now, I want you to make sure you catch that as you read it. It was quoted, it was indicated that Ham had a son named Cana, right? These are the three sons of Noah, and of them was the whole earth overspread. And Noah began to be a husbandman and he planted a vineyard and he drank of the wine and was drunken and he was uncovered within his tent. And Ham, the father of Cana, so you know they keep saying that Ham, the father of Cana, something about Cana is in here. Saw the nakedness of his father. Like I said, most kids see nakedness, that means some indiscretion, something happened when you're talking about seeing the nakedness of, of something, right? He saw the nakedness of his father. And look, he told his two brothers about, hey, I saw something. Think about it. Listen, read it. He said he saw something. Told his brother, two brothers without. I mean, they weren't there. They didn't see it. And Shem and Jephthah took a garment. Now, think about it. If Ham did something, why is it that his two brothers, Shem and Jephthah, took a garment and and this was and laying it upon their upon both of their shoulders, and they went backwards. And the only reason they went back was because their brother said there was something that was not right. So they didn't want to see it. They didn't want to see it, right? That's what that means. And obviously Ham, since he obviously told them, he must not be in the situation because he told them about the situation and they're walking backwards. They don't mean that. Don't wait. I didn't see him go back to, the, to where had, Noah was. Break it down. I'm just breaking it down. Did you see Ham go back? He didn't say that, did he? It just says two brothers <laughs> went to uh, where the father was, right? They 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 walked backwards, right? And cover and covered and covered the nakedness of their father. And the faces were backward, and they saw not their father's nakedness or transgression. Don't get deep on me. You can go ahead and look at the try to look at try to look at the uh, the different. Let's see, maybe you can show it up here. This I can go into the uh, this is verse 20.
And this is the concordance. Let's see if we can find out what the Bible is saying. There's a translation for this nakedness. 23 is right here. It says nudity, literally, especially the uh, or configuratively. It says disgrace, blemish, nakedness, shame, uncleanness. This, this is the translation for that. So there was something that was unclean, shameful. That, that they were covering up, that Ham told them about. Obviously, Ham wasn't covered up, right? He didn't go back in there. He said he saw something, and they saw someone. They covered up this uh, nakedness that uh, Noah got involved with, right? So anyway, and then Noah awoke from his wine and knew what his younger son has done unto him. Done unto him, mean, what did he do unto you? Because look what he did there. And he said, Curse be Cana. Because you know, the fact is, okay, if, if it was just literally naked and he saw it, Ham, and he told his brothers, and his brothers covered the cover, walked backwards about to see whatever, you know, just, if we're talking about literally naked. And they put a blanket on him. And then the man woke up from his wine and knew what his son had done to him. I did it. You're gonna to have to give me more of that. Cause that that that, that means that they he saw whatever he may he being with something he ain't no business being with. That's, that's all I can think of. But anyway. He said, curse be Cana. Where's Ham? I don't see no Ham curse. 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 Scripture said, he said, curse be Cana. Curse be Cana. Not Ham. A servant of servants shall he be unto his brother. And that's addressed to his brother. And he said, Blessed be the Lord God of Shem, and Cana shall be his servant. God shall enlarge Jephthah, and he shall dwell in the tents of Shem, and Cana shall be his servant. And Noah lived after the flood 350 years. And all the days of Noah were 950 years, and he died. So, so where, where's Ham being cursed? I, I, I just want to say, since you want to bring that in, you want to be, you want to go ahead and get the whole doggone race of, of black people <laughs> and call them uh, uh, cursed. You better read your own Bible. Don't sit there and tell that lie to somebody. You gotta be kidding me. You, you may not love yourself that you want to sit there and try to find some reason to justify an entire complexion of people with melon, more melon, uh, to be cursed. Well, you're not going to get it from the Bible. You've got to get it from somewhere else. Amen? If you hate yourself, you hate yourself, but you're not going to sit there and do that. And, and just let you know, uh, Ham, uh, verse, this is uh, Genesis 10, and the sons of Ham, look at this, Cush, Mezaram, and Put, and Cana. So, so, and as I saw curse was Cana, but this man had a whole bunch of sons. Huh? And then his sons, sons of Cush, verse 7, Sheba, Havilah, Saptan, Rama, Satekta, the sons of Rama, Sheba, and Dedan. And Cush began, he got Nimrod. Which, if you want to do some more study of that, that covers a whole lot of that over a whole lot of different kind of words because this guy became, became began to be a mighty one in earth. And some of the some of the little pagan things you see today is reflecting all the way back to Nimrod. So curse more melon. Uh to be cursed. Well, you're not gonna get it from the Bible, you've got to get it from somewhere else. Amen. 
if you hate yourself, you hate yourself, but you're not going to sit there and do that. And, and just let you know, uh, Ham, uh, verse, this is uh, Genesis 10, and the sons of Ham, look at this, Cush, Mezaram, and Put, and Cana. So, so, as I saw, curse was Cana, but this man had a whole bunch of sons. Huh? And then his sons, sons of Cush, verse 7, Sheba, Havilah, Saptan, Rama, Satakta, the sons of Rama, Sheba, and Dedan, and Cush began, begat Nimrod, which if you want to do some more study of that, that covers a whole lot of, that opened a whole lot of different can of words because this guy became, became, began to be a mighty one in there. And some of the, some of the little pagan things we see today is reflecting all the way back to Nimrod. So curse, all of Ham's children, I didn't see that. I also was Cana, but I saw that Ham had more than one son. So don't use that. Don't try to run with something you heard. There's the scriptures right there. I'm gonna make sure I put it on the on the big slide there, so you can uh, you can you can see it, so, so you won't have no excuse. Don't try to sit there and try to put people in a box. And some of you sit there and try to go and put down. Uh, let me see here, uh, Cain. They kill they kill Abel, and they said Cain had a mark on. Him. Oh Lord, Cain had a mark on him. And, and, and because he killed his brother, and, and, and therefore his brother, uh, uh, he, that, that's the black race. What? I got a couple of issues with that one. Okay, if Cain was mocked with the curse, wouldn't he, didn't he, was he on the boat when the uh, flood came in Genesis 10 and 9? Or nine and ten. So even if even if you give this lie some credit, unless Cain descendants were on the boat with Noah, I think you 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 Cain. I mean Abel, yeah, Cain's children and Cain descendants died in the flood. I only see one ark. And we're talking about Noah's descendants. I don't see where Noah is a descendant of Cain. I mean, you were gonna go back through that too? So no, let me get deep on that, all right? All right, just remember, don't sit there and try to find a reason to justify anything. If somebody's cursed, that don't mean that gives you justification to not love them. In this case, they ain't cursed, but that still doesn't give you justification to not love somebody. Let's say they were cursed. Where's the justification for you to be rude? Where's the justification for you to be evil? It's not. So think about that, right? Do you love yourself? And stop trying to reflect what you want with somebody. You, you jacking it all up. Amen? All right. All right. So we'll go ahead and keep on along with the study. Amen? All right. On that one.